All right, in this video, we are going to cover uh, voicemail and settings within the Elevate uh, UC application. Uh, first off, let's start with voicemail. This is your voicemail tab. Um, it's down here in the very bottom right. Uh, voicemail, this is where you can see your voicemail because it is a visual, uh, it is visual voicemail. It does do a text, text, text transcription. Um, you can see your voicemail. You can also listen to it, forward it, and delete it. Um, if you want to listen to your voicemail, you just got to press this button right here, and it will play your Jeremy. voicemail on your phone. Uh, here's your text transcription. Keep in mind, this is a uh, best effort only text, text transcription. It's not going to be 100% accurate all the time, um, but it does serve to give you kind of a context of what, uh, what the voicemail is left about. You have... Um, this little icon down here, this phone icon, will allow you to immediately return this person's call. You have the share icon here. This will allow you to send this voicemail uh, to somebody else's email address in case maybe they left a, you know, the voicemail uh, to, you know at the wrong place or something on the wrong extension. Uh, this little checkbox here will mark the voicemail as either read or unread, and you can tell when it's unread because it will be bold. You can also choose to de delete the voicemail right here. This little icon right here will allow you to turn on or off your, your device's speakerphone. And these buttons act like a, a next, you know, a skip button. So you can go through your voicemails in a quicker manner. Now up here in the top right, you have this ellipsis right here. This gives you some additional options. You can choose to delete all your voicemails. If you have a bunch of them that are backed up and you just want to delete them all, you can go ahead and hit delete all. Uh, if you click on delete all red, it will only delete the ones that uh, are marked as red. Um, and you can also mark all as red as well, right there as well. OK, um, now we're going to go ahead and get into our settings. Again, our settings are located up here in the top left by your profile icon. In here, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. If you click on the little pen icon right here, this will allow you to see all the telephone numbers and extensions associated with your personal account. You can choose to uh, upload a new picture from your gallery by clicking on your current picture, or you can take a selfie and put it, put it up there if you would like. You can change your status from available, on break, busy, uh, or these four statuses do not disturb out sick on vacation or off work uh, all your notifications will be disabled and calls will be sent to voicemail if you choose one of these four status message um, this is a custom status message you can put into the uh, put into the application that will show to other people using the application uh, this is you know for instance if you are in meetings all day you can put in uh, in meetings all day, please do not disturb, and p other people within the organization will see it. You have these two icons, online meeting and share sync. These are simply just links to uh, either open those applications or prompt you to download those applications. Again, online meeting, uh, as we covered in one of our previous videos, is uh, the online meeting uh, platform that comes as, as part of your, your service with us. Uh, ShareSync is um, similar to Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive. Uh, again, that's a, a, that is a complimentary service uh, provided to you. Uh, everybody in your organization has at least two two uh, gigs of, of storage that you could use. Uh, if you're again, if you're familiar with OneDrive, Dropbox, or or uh, Google Drive, um, it's a very similar product. Settings. Within settings, uh, the settings tab, you can uh, turn on or off the use of mobile data in case you have a limited data plan. Uh, you can turn on or off push notifications. Push notifications are those those notifications that come from the top of your screen. You can turn on or off logs. You can turn on or off uh, uh, TLS uh, enhanced encryption for your calls. You have a, the option to switch to carrier. Switch to carrier is a, an option that allows you to uh, quickly uh, send a call to your your cell phone number directly. Uh, this is this is useful if if you're in a place where uh, maybe the mobile data connection isn't isn't so hot. 
Uh, you know, we're thinking like small, you know, small mountain towns, vacation towns, things like that. Maybe the the data is not so great. Maybe you just want to use your your regular cell phone uh, minutes. You can do that there. Uh, this extension option right here, uh, this, is what, this is one of the places, one of the two places where you can define uh, how long your phone rings before calls either go to voicemail or follow the find me, follow me forwarding settings. We'll get into that a little bit more uh, in, in just a few minutes. You can turn on or off the vibrate function and you can change your ringtone. Find me, follow me forwarding is an advanced type of forwarding um, that allows you to forward calls um, to m multiple telephone numbers or extensions within your organization. Uh, this is useful if, like, for instance, you are planning on being on vacation and you need somebody to be able to take your calls. You can choose to send it to somebody's phone number. I forgot, you have to press in one. There we go. So now, anytime, any, anytime somebody calls me, it's going to ring my extension for 20 seconds. This is the second place where we can dictate how long it rings my phone. So it's going to ring my, my phone to my, my phone for we're going to set it to 30 seconds. So anytime anybody calls my desk phone, it's going to ring my phone, including my my Elevate application here, for 30 seconds. If nobody picks up, it's going to forward the call to this telephone number. Now, if nobody picks up for 20 seconds after that, let's see, this is where we uh, chose our, our duration here. If no, nobody picks up after that, then it's going to go to my voicemail. You can add up to three uh, telephone numbers or extensions to to ring with this with this setting because that's not a real telephone number. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So this is useful. Um, I've actually been getting on t on a plane to go on vacation and forgot that, that I didn't set up my uh, uh, my vacation forwarding and I was able to pull pull this up while I was still on the tarmac and uh, set up forwarding to go to somebody else to cover me while I was out on vacation. So it was uh, this is a really nice feature. I like it a lot. Uh, voicemail. Uh, this voicemail. If you click here. Uh, this gives us our voicemail settings. Uh, this is where we can see what our current what our current voicemail pin is. We can see uh, we can listen to what our current uh, voicemail greeting is by pressing this button here, or we can choose to change it. You know, we can replace the custom greeting. Click on tap to record, and you can record a new greeting. Uh, keep in mind that will record over the custom greeting you already have, and there's no recovering that. So uh, just just be aware of that. Uh, I can turn on or off text transcription uh, text transcription for the voicemails. I can turn on or off the notification of new voicemails uh, pop-ups. I can uh, uh, not pop-ups. I apologize. Uh, I can uh, turn on or off the notification of new um, voicemails, uh, and these these notifications go to my email address here. I can add additional voice uh, uh, voicemail email addresses here. So if somebody is covering for me while I'm out of town, uh, I can put their uh, their their email address in there, and then uh, attach voicemail. This is this uh, dictates whether or not the voicemail comes through as an audio attachment as well as a text text transcription uh, uh, to the email. Chat. This turns on or off uh, the chat notifications and group chat notifications here. You can also clear your your uh, attachments global storage, uh, which will free up a little bit of uh, room on your phone if you're running out of room. Sync context to elevate. Sync context to elevate um, allows you to sync your uh, your personal contacts uh, uh, on this device to the elevate platform, so you can use it on uh, your your desktop application. So that's a that is a nice feature. Don't worry when you do sync your contacts up to elevate. It's only available just to you, so you're not sharing your contacts with the whole company or something like that. And we don't see it at all. 
You can silent mode here. Uh, you can turn silent mode on or off at will just by clicking that little slider there. You can also set up a schedule. You can set it up to be, you know, 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. every day. So this, if you're going to be out of the, if you're going to be out of the office from 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. every day, you can set that up on a schedule. So every single day, it turns off your calls. Um, a lot of us appreciate work-life balance, and that's a way to help preserve that. And you can choose whether or not to include or exclude specific events. You can go ahead and turn off silent mode. Mobile Assistant. Uh, Mobile Assistant is a beta uh, program and it uses various uh, data points to help to uh, intelligently identify when it should just send voicemail, uh, send calls to voicemail. Uh, we're, we're talking like uh, your, your, your Outlook calendar status, um, which Wi-Fi network you're connected to, what your, globe, what your GPS coordinates are. Uh, it uses this type of information uh, to, to determine whether or not it should send a call to you at all in, in, or whether it should just send the voicemail directly to, uh, or the, send the call directly to voicemail uh, to avoid disturbing you. Um, anytime it makes a rule, it will confirm with you that you want it to be done. Uh, and you have the option of turning those rules off later as well. Uh, again, this is an optional service. You don't have to use it. I really do enjoy it, though. Next up, we have these three final tabs down here. We have Send Feedback, About, and Log Out. Uh, send Feedback this really should just be used uh, if our our help desk asks you to do it. Uh, sending feedback doesn't isn't doesn't actually go to the developers or anything like that. Um, what it does is it it allows you to attach the logs that we saw earlier. It allows you to attach the logs to an email and send them to support at fishestech.com. Um, really, only do that if you are uh, instructed to by. Uh, our help desk. If you just click on send feedback and then you know type in a, a problem or a message, it doesn't get it, it doesn't go to our help desk immediately, and it doesn't get addressed. So uh, if you do have problems, uh, if you have feature requests or anything like that, you can you know email supportoffishertech.com and they'd be happy to get that to the developers or open a ticket for you if it's a problem. The about button here, if you click on the about button, it will just show you a little bit of information about the application, including the application version. This would be helpful in uh, the case of troubleshooting if you do have problems. And then you also have the log out key right down here. This log out button will log you out of the application. Um, so that's it for, uh, for the most part for all of these settings and everything. So our next video is going to go over calling. Uh, and how to use the application as a smart uh, smartphone uh, calling device. So it allows you to make and receive calls right from your smartphone as if you were sitting at your desk. Uh, so we'll see you in the next video.